There it is. We can see Gibraltar, the rock of Gibraltar. Oh, thank goodness, there it is. Oh. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Well, the wind arrived, but of course it is straight out of the west. And that means that we're gonna be tacking into Gibraltar, but at least there's wind. Uh, the sun is going to rise very soon, but right now we're sailing through some very thick fog. So it's a little, um, a little creepy and a little scary because hopefully everybody's transmitting out here, but you never know. And uh, just gotta be really on my guard right now. Pasta salad. Just be kind of easy on my stomach. We're heading south. When I left, we were heading southwest. So the winds have shifted. They've come around from the west. So now we're literally beating to get to uh, Gibraltar. So today, I don't know if we'll actually make it there, but tomorrow the winds are good to get us there. There's a lot of fog around. Thankfully, we're not in fog at the moment, but uh, some very large ships over there are, and we can hear their fog horns. So, just a little reminder that we're not alone out here. If we want to go two and a half miles to windward, we're looking at sailing five miles. If we want to go, there's the fog horn. If we want to go 10 miles to windward, we need to be sailing 25 miles. Like, it, it keeps growing like that. And so the issue is our destination is currently 40 miles to windward. So 40 times 2.5, we're looking at 40 times two is 80 times half is 20. So a hundred miles to windward that we need to sail to get there in 24 hours, which means that we're gonna have a sunset and a sunrise before we arrive. So before we left, I actually made a whole bunch of oatmeal raisin cookie dough because Oddly, Maddie and I's favorite cookie is oatmeal raisin, but since no one likes it, we never mentioned it to each other for years. And then just recently, well, actually in Austria, in the lockdown is when we both learned that our favorite cookie is an oatmeal raisin cookie. So to be completely honest, I love this. So we're just out in the absolute middle. There's no land in sight. It's this nice steady breeze, calm seas, and just loving life. So this trip started out as a 130 mile run from Spain to Gibraltar. Most people do it in 24 hours because at five knots, that's 24 hours and you're there. Now, we knew it wasn't gonna be 24 hours for us because it never is. And when we left, we were actually looking at making it there in less than 24 hours because we're doing about six and a half knots. So if that held, we would have gotten there in no time. But as usual, it didn't hold. We covered 42 miles the first day, 25 miles the second day, 20 miles the third day. So now we're starting, this is our third noon on the water and we're just making our way. So if we make it there today, then we would have made it in four days. If we make it there tomorrow, then we took five days to get there. But it was at a very leisure and relaxed pace. And that, mm, it's hard to put a price on it. Actually, you can put a price on it. The fuel cost would have been a heck of a lot. And we don't have to pay any of that because we just took our time and just sailed with the wind. Oh, get ready. Hmm. So we're again not moving and we're the motor is charged up so we're going to give ourselves a little push again to see if that can fill up 
still the drifter and actually get us somewhere. We've been out here in full sun for so many days and it's summer so there's so many hours of sunlight a day that uh, we're full charge again. The sun beats down on a lonely town a couple miles away from you. I saved your message on my telephone Hoping it'll get me through The times my words aren't right But you know where I am tonight I'll be flicking through pictures of yesterday Oh, I coming down and uh we're gonna drop dill and get stan up and then turn back around and start sailing that way now <laughs> all right well we're gonna switch sails now and we're just basically continuing to tack until the wind changes and we can go straight to gibraltar but uh, wind's on our wind is of course coming straight out of where we want to go so that's the story of our lives so the first thing we do when we're dropping dill is we raise Stan, the staysail, and then we jibe so that dill is backed against Stan, and that makes it really easy. So then he just falls down onto the deck and you kind of have to grab him and bring him in yourself because he's such a light sail. One of the best parts about cruising are the sunsets. And every sunset is amazing. And this sunset is well, it's an average sunset, I guess you would say, because it's just amazing. The sunset sucks! It's not especially amazing. <laughs> Terrible sunset! It's just, it's just a sunset. <laughs> Nothing else. You know, just, we see them every day. At the end of the day. Hallelujah! Now, that there's a sunset. Mm -hmm. Sun's going down. <laughs> Sun's going down to the water. <laughs> and then when it touches the water, it's going to get put out. And then we hope to God that it lights that fire again in the morning. <laughs> Otherwise, there ain't going to be no sunrise. <laughs> Herbie's going to take the first watch. And that means that I get to watch movies. <laughs> So ironically, while we've been sitting here going nowhere, I've been watching the Fast and the Furious movies. One, two, and three so far. Tonight is four, maybe five. I always think of Game of Thrones at this point because my watch is ending and um, the sun has risen. It, Herbie woke me up at 3 a.m. and it is now 7 a.m. So I've been a good four hours and um, it was a very uneventful watch, which is good. But we actually moved, which is even better or well, just as good. <laughs> so. Um, I think we are probably gonna make it to Gibraltar today. I really, really hope we do. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh, so, sun is up. I'm on watch. Maddie's sleeping now. We are pointing that way, southeast, but we are actually moving southwest. So there's a strong current here pulling us southwest, no wind. As the boat is pulled along, it's creating apparent wind in the sails that I'm using to get us a little more south to the west. So the fact that it's super calm, yet there's white caps, and we're being pulled sideways, all goes to say that there's a really strong current. So we're just using that current to get to where we want, because for once this time in the Med, the current is actually pulling us in the right direction. It's pulling us towards Gibraltar. So we are on the northern side of the Med, in like the last little gulf before you head down into Gibraltar on Spain. And there, there's a known counter current that does run that way, which is why we came up here. And uh, yeah, it's just pulling us along. All right, 
now we're sailing. So we got the current pulling us west and we have a wind out of the east. So that means that we can sail west with some pretty good speed now. So what you eating? Some yogurt. And where did this yogurt come from? <laughs> this has been actually really great to have on this passage because um, Herbie made a bunch of bottles and he actually made some underway as well. So we've just had constant yogurt and it's good for the stomach and it's healthy and filling and it's it's been great to have. When we're going to arrive somewhere soon, a conversation that comes up inevitably between me and Herbie is food! We always think about what our first dinner is going to be. It's the thing that we look forward to the most about arriving in a new place. But the difference is, in this case, this is the first time on this whole trip in three years that we are returning to a place that we've been to before. So we already know our favorite place to get food here. And it's just, it's just really interesting because we've never had this before. We've never returned to a place. And so now that we're, we've turned out of the med, Gibraltar is this first time for us. And we're not gonna actually experience this again until we get to the United States, which is in a long time. So we're having this little, little moment of returning before we start experiencing brand new things over again. And we're realizing that it's really exciting to return to a special place. Do you have any special places other than Gibraltar that you're looking forward to returning to? Well, do you mean on this trip, like in the US or just in general returning someday? On this passage uh -huh. that we're doing, mm -hmm. we're going to be hitting ports. Yes, and they're all on the East Coast because... That's what we did. Yeah. That's what we did. So in terms of returning to places on this trip, uh, it's going to be Oriental, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, um, Myrtle Beach. Uh, oh yeah, definitely Fernandina. Well, I really enjoyed Surf City. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to go, going back to Surf City, which we... <laughs> We only experience Surf City at night, so it'll be nice to see it again. Um, and yeah, I think that those are the big ones for me, I think. I would have been excited about returning to Hatteras uh, if it weren't for all of the difficulties getting in there and the problems with how we arrived there. But Hatteras was actually a home for us for quite some time and it would be fun to go back and visit certain places, but alas. There it is! We can see Gibraltar, the rock of Gibraltar. Oh, thank goodness, there it is. Oh. You probably can't see it, but we can. <laughs> yep, or at least we're imagining it properly. <laughs> We are both seeing the same thing. So it's either a shared hallucination <laughs> or we're just too many days at she. <laughs> that would also just be a shared hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I am just soaking in the sights because the Rock of Gibraltar is just such a famous landmark to sail by. And now we are, like we sailed for days, literally days, where we saw no land at all. At night, sometimes we'd see a little bit of land in the distance, and then we were just coming along, and then boom, Rock of Gibraltar came out through the haze. So it's, it does live up to its reputation of just being awe-inspiring. So this is how we find currents. See how the water is like super glassy, and then right there, it gets really choppy? Current. And then right after it's glassy again. So it's just this narrow little band that's running just here that we're going to uh, hop in and see which way it takes us. If we like it, we stay in it. If we don't like it, we just hop right back out. Right there, you can see the rock of Gibraltar. Slowly but surely, we're making our way there. We 
share your thoughts. Coming up on the Rock of Gibraltar. It's so close, but it's so far away. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> What's frustrating you? We never pay much attention to forecasts. And this time, for some reason, we did. And we were reminded why we never pay attention to forecasts. In short, I'm ready to get out of the Mediterranean where it is either no wind or a storm. So we're pretty much going through the strait right now and uh, we've just come across this kind of crazy current. And it's, it's just as we expected. It's expressive. And it's, and it's just, all of a sudden, it just got like super choppy, but very short little chops. But there's no wind because we're here. Very frequently in Spain, somebody will just lean on their radio and it will be static for hours. So that's happening. This giant super yacht owned by a sheik just pulled in to the marina. Uh, it's the second largest privately owned yacht in the world. <laughs> Valued at 600 million US dollars. The fun thing about the radio in Spain is that that static goes on forever and you can't squelch it out. Like we actually have our squelch set as high as possible to try not to hear it and Oh my God, it is so tempting to not monitor 16 so we don't have to listen to that constantly. Uh, but we do. We are now passing the rock and the lighthouse at Europa Point, which means that we have officially left the Mediterranean Sea and entered the Strait of Gibraltar. It's a very happy feeling because the next stop after this is going to be Madeira out in the middle of the Atlantic. So back to ocean crossing after this. So this always happens. We always end up going crazy fast in our last sections of our journeys. So we're going seven knots right now, which is way faster than anything close to what we've been doing this entire trip. Our average speed was... Our average speed was like... 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6! Oh my God. Five days straight. Our average speed was 0. 0.6 for five days. Oh, but here we come. The last final haul into Gibraltar. Current. And it's pretty much all current. So the battery charger isn't working. It's giving some error issue. Feels really good to be here in Gibraltar, but at the same time, it's only a stopping point. Okay, today we woke up to some interesting news at this mm -hmm. path. Yeah, I plotted on avionics. Now that's straight line, which most of this is because it's downwind. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below. Uh, Charleston. Thank you. Thank you. Charleston, South Carolina.